Hello ladies and gents and welcome to week five of our intro to Shakespeare class. We have read some great stuff so far. We've gone through the sonnets, we got to do comedy of errors, we did Midsummer Night's Dream which I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm looking forward to reading your discussion board analysis of uh, some of the different major plot points and themes that Shakespeare gave us in that play. Uh, this week we get to go into much ado about nothing. Sorry, the whining noises, my dogs. Uh, apparently there is a cat outside. Guys, you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Oh. Well, do you think that they belong on laps? They don't, but they're very nice dogs. There we go. All right. So, sorry. Side note there. Not important at all. Um, let, let's talk about much to do about nothing. So this is another one of Shakespeare's fabulous comedies. We're grouping our plays by genre, as we talked about. Okay, stop. Um, and... We're going through the comedy genre first, we'll be working through history, we'll be working through romance, and we'll be working through tragedy as well. But it's nice to start with the happy, fun stuff so we can kind of get our legs underneath us, feel more comfortable with Shakespeare before we get into some of the heavier kind of ideas that he talks about. So we have another fun comedy. You're welcome. The comedies really are his best work. I think he shines here. The tragedies get a lot of attention, um, but... My own bias as a uh, lit person is that it's easier to write tragedy than it is to write comedy because comedy is very subjective. And so to have a comedic strategy that appeals to a wide audience is incredibly challenging. Whereas a lot of people find the same things sad. You know, like tragedy is easier. You make the characters fall in love and then kill them. Um, that's going to make people sad. Like that's pretty straightforward. Uh, comedy, though, much more subjective, so I think it takes just a little bit more chutzpah, skill, what have you, to be really successful at it. So I think Shakespeare's comedies are where he really shines, uh, which is why we get to do several of them in a row before we get into some of his other styles. So this week, all that to say, we get to read Much Ado About Nothing, which is one of his most popular comedies. This uh, one has been adapted in a lot of different versions uh, in plays and particularly in uh, Hollywood on the big screen. Much Do About Nothing gets a little bit more attention. Uh, so we will be reading some context for Much Do About Nothing uh, as we always do on Mondays and then uh, we will start reading Much Do About Nothing uh, once again Start reading it on Tuesday. You have until Friday to finish reading the play. Uh, I also have links for you in the modules tab that will take you to the No Fear Shakespeare version. So as we're getting our sea legs, as it were, with Shakespeare's wonderful text, um, you can familiarize yourself with his ideas by going to the No Fear Shakespeare. You miss some of the poetry and language and um, history that we get with Shakespeare's original words. But if you're struggling with understanding what the play is about, that's a good place to start. So begin reading Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, watch the recorded lecture on Much Ado About Nothing. It'll be posted in the modules tab. I'm working on that today, so it should be posted by this evening. Uh, so that'll be up for you. Lots of fun material there. And then watch the Much Ado About Nothing video. And once again, I have two versions of that linked for you in the modules tab. I'll show you. And then we have a Friday assignment. Um, you have a couple Sundays off at the beginning of the quarter. We were having Sunday assignments. You have a couple weeks with no Sunday assignments, and then we get to um, our big test on the comedy genre, which will be on Sunday on the 23rd. So you have some time, but if you want to take that energy used on Sunday assignments, it might not hurt to review some of the comedy genre materials uh, in preparation for the test on the 23rd. So lots of fun things coming this week. Uh, we've got uh, a great assignment as we reflect on Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, we're writing a short essay on one of these themes, one of these questions. Um, lots of really fun things to think about in terms of Shakespeare's uh, motives for writing, how he might have um, written his characters to perform in certain ways what that might have said about his time and potentially about human nature as well. Lots of really good ideas in this play. So some fun things to think about in our Friday assignment. Uh, if we go down to our Much Ado About Nothing tab, look at all the things we've done already. I can minimize these. Look at that. We did the sonnets. We did Comedy of Errors. We did Midsummer Night's Dream. 
Now we're on to Much Ado About Nothing. I have some video links for you here. So the first one is uh, a video performance. You do have to pay to rent this one. It's $3.99. This is probably the most famous version of Much Ado About Nothing. And it has an all-star cast. It's got Kenneth Branagh and Emma Thompson as the lead roles of Benedict and Beatrice. And they do an amazing job. However, they are not the only famous people in here. Uh, I think Keanu Reeves plays the bad guy, which is fun. Uh, if you like Keanu Reeves, he is just my favorite. Like, he is a heartthrob. Handsome, handsome man. Um, so, so it's got Keanu Reeves. It's got Kate Beckinsale. It's got, uh, I told you, Emma Thompson. Denzel Washington plays the prince. He's amazing, obviously. Uh, and Michael Keaton is in this one, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> he plays Dogsberry, which is uh, so fun. Dogberry, Michael Keaton, best performance of this character you will ever see. Like, I don't want to oversell it, but dang, the guy knocked it out of the park. Like, he is hilarious. How freaking hilarious. He's amazing. Uh, so this version, really fun. Um, it is $3.99 to rent, which is the bummer deal about this. But you can also get it from the library. All of the Mid-Columbia libraries have a copy of this movie. So if you beat all your classmates to it, you can get a free DVD retro version uh, that you can rent from the library to watch. There is also a free copy of Much Do About Nothing. The Royal Shakespeare Company did this one. Um, and it is through our CBC library databases on the Alexander Street I talked about last week. Um, really... Beautiful performance done by the Royal Shakespeare Company here. Incredibly well done, recorded by the BBC. Like, this is high-quality stuff. Um, and the... Um, do, do, do. the uh, <laughs> that particular uh, site gives you the text in one margin and the video in the other, so you can kind of, like, read along as you're going, which is really exciting. So lots of really great options for us here. Lots of really fabulous resources. Uh, there is a really interesting article called Deception and Dramatic Irony in Much Do About Nothing. I would highly recommend you read this week uh, to deepen your understanding of the play and to kind of look at what some modern day critics are saying of this play, how it holds up um, in light of recent movements, whether that's the feminist movement or um, different equality movements. Uh, lots of really interesting stuff that we can talk about here and some really good uh, historical context as well. So really beautiful, beautifully written article with lots of different topics. I know it looks long, but it's got some incredible content. So I would highly recommend you read this to help uh, deepen your understanding of the play itself. And it will help you uh, be successful in the discussion board. So bonus, good stuff there. So everything you need to be successful is in the modules. This week we'll be working on Much Ado About Nothing. You have those two video options to watch on Thursday, assignments to complete on Friday. Do make sure you are reading these intro sections to each of the plays. Um, these intro sections feature heavily in our comedy test that will be coming up on the 23rd. So do make sure that you are reading those intros in their entirety, highlight them, make notes in the annotation, margins, all of that stuff, um, because that's going to be very, very useful when we have our test at the end of the month. So make sure you're reading those intros, make sure you're reading through the plays, watch the recorded lectures, watch the videos, and complete those Friday assignments, and we will be in smooth sailing for this week. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, reach out. I'm here to help, uh, and have a great week, guys.